Let's get muddy. Welcome back to the Scale Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's part three of the Mega Mudder Blazer build. And I'm very excited we're at the end because I can finally take this thing out, get it muddy, show off how this thing performs or doesn't perform. I guess we'll see because it's, it's still sitting here on the bench and it hasn't gotten muddy yet. I wanted to go through all the final touches that I've done to the truck before getting it muddy. It just made sense to me to take you through things before and then we can see the results after. Without further ado, the final look before this thing gets destroyed. Cosmetically, there's been a few changes since the last time you saw the truck. Uh, most uh, evident, of course, is the Blazer Topper from Axial. This is a nice piece of Lexan that you will have to paint, detail, and cut out. Uh, but there are some nice features here that I really like. Also offers you an opportunity to uh, have a working tailgate because obviously you'll need to get into the body to take the body clips off the back to get at your battery and motors and whatnot. It's a nice hinged system. I added a magnet to the back to keep the door panel closed. I did find that it kind of flopped around a little bit and those hinges are a bit finicky. Take your time with that when you put it together. I painted mine on the outside with some Tamiya uh, PS5 black uh, just to dull it out and to make it look a little bit more like the tops that you would see on a blazer from this era. I added some vinyl decals to finish the look. These I got off of eBay in a bunch of different colors and trimmed myself just to make it uh, kind of stand out and make it a little bit my own. Added some Axial stickers and completed the LED light kit from My Trick RC. Uh, the guys there are fantastic and I should mention that they noticed that one of the headlights was a little bit warmer than the other one and they sent me a replacement kit which I haven't yet installed but I do appreciate the fact that they take their customer service seriously and provided me with an extra set of lights to fix what they considered to be an issue with their system. Very cool and I love how bright it is. I love that I can control it remotely from my radio and there's just a lot of nice pieces. The light bar mount is fantastic and they give you a bunch of different options. Whether you want to install it on a roof like I've done here or you want to install it on a cage, they give you all of the mounts in the kit to do that. And that's very cool. I also added a Pitbull Night Saber, uh, which my cats really enjoyed. Uh, they like how the whip antenna kind of uh, gets in their teeth and you can see there's a bunch of chew marks on it already. Uh, it's impossible to keep them out of my workshop. They uh, are desperate for my attention. I don't, know. I don't know why. You'll notice that there is no winch installed and that's on purpose. Uh, good mud trucks are always on a budget. And while there is a fair lead roller on there, there is no winch intentionally. I've also added the inner fenders from Axial. Uh, just nice to keep the mud out of underneath the body. It's still gonna get in there, I know for a fact but it's nice to have a little bit of extra protection. I added some clear Lexan to the uh, STRC lift kit uh, and added some stickers on there just to kind of make it feel a bit more like a mudder or mud truck. I've seen this done before on monster trucks and stuff and I kind of wanted to add that little touch of detail there too. So another little thing you can try. That's about it. I'm very, you know what, I'm very pleased overall with the look of the truck. I think I've kind of kept it faithful to a budget mud truck uh, in terms of its appearance. Uh, these Super Swampers, a lot of people keep telling me that this is not the proper tire for a mud truck. And I did take a look at those J Concepts Fling Kings uh, and the wheels that go with those. I did put a set on order at my local hobby shop. I'm not sure, I'm gonna see how it performs today with the Super Swampers, if I'm happy with that. We'll probably just forgo that order and not worry about changing tires and wheels again. I hope it performs half as good as it looks. And with that, why don't we go right outside and see how this thing does.
I'd like to thank all of you for watching. I appreciate all the feedback and all the comments along the way. And if you've got any ideas or any comments for future builds, by all means, put it in the description below. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, I answer every single comment. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.